Hi there and welcome to Joe World. Please consider subscribing to this channel and turn on the notification bell so you will not miss any of our uploads. Tokpe Alabi robbed at gone point. Nigerian gospel singer and composer evangelist Tokpe Alabi was robbed at gunpoint in Ogun State. She was robbed at a supermarket located in the OK area, area of Ota Ogun State, and it has been confirmed by Abimbola Oyeyemi, the spokesman for the Ogun State Police Command. Oyeyemi said she was held hostage at a supermarket and robbed of a huge sum of money now let me tell you what actually happened they have arrested these people that tried to rob her or success successfully robbed her three suspected armed robbers have been arrested by the Ogun State, Ogun State Police Command for reportedly robbing Tokwe Alabi and dispossessing her of a huge sum of money in Adon Adodo it's a local government area of the state now they didn't tell us how much they took from her. There was a call. It was around 9.45 p.m. on the 22nd of June that a shop that is a provision store in Ota Ogun State was robbed. They brought guns. They held her hostage, tied her down. And then, but then, luckily, people outside were able to make calls to the police. And then they... These hoodlums actually tried first off to resist arrest. They attacked the team, then they took to their heels, but then they were chased and the three of them were subsequently apprehended. They had locally made pistol, they had life cartridges, they had dangerous charms on them. And now the commissioner of police in the state, Edward Adjogun, has ordered that the case to be transferred to the state criminal investigative department, CID. He has appealed to the public to always inform the police on time whenever they notice any distress situation. Well, if you do not see it, it's just a lucky thing that it was noted in time that a store was being robbed and it was late at night, 9.42 p.m. Wow, thank God that she's fine and alive and nothing was, nothing happened. So I just hope it wasn't a so traumatic event for her and she's coming out fine. So I'm be the Nigerian gospel singer a film music composer and an actress. She's popularly referred to as Oretio Komo and Agbojesu. She was born on the 27th of October 1970 in Lagos State and she's the only daughter of three children. But she's originally from Jewa Imeko in Ogun State, which is, I mean, understandable why her business is in Ogun State. But then she grew up in Ibadan. She studied mass communication and graduated in 1990 from the Polytechnic of Ibado. She was actually a formerly she was formerly a member of the Jester's International Comedy Group, but then she started joining theatre troops and then started singing for music and movies, Yoruba film genre or in Nigeria. She was like the music composer, the soundtrack composer and singer for a long time before she metamorphosed into gospel music after she became a born again Christian. And she's been doing amazingly well for herself. But recently she was in the news, so <laughs> when <laughs> she dragged another gospel singer who is like a mentee of ours, Adeyin Kala Sheori, on social media for a for a rendition of the song Oni Durovine She. And she was like, God is not someone's guarantor, whatever, whatever, whatever. And Nigerians do not take it easy with her. In fact, I think Kala Shoyori's music career, you can say that it grew radically, like it really grew that period because of what Tokwe Alabi said. Because out of spite of Tokwe Alabi, people now went in support of Adeyin Kala Shiori, her celebrities pointing all of those things now. And then she had to come and stylishly do some PR stunts to retract her statement and say she didn't really mean it like that, blah, blah, blah. There's always peace among them. But Adeyin Kala Shiori, of course, was not very comfortable with the whole attention that that drew 
I mean, due to her and whatnot. But then she, there was nothing she could do. She had to bask in it because, man, it's your time. And it's just unfortunate that it's a stock by Labby that was the scapegoat. But she's done so many things for us. She's had so many songs from uh, Oriti Okomo in 2001 when she started the Gospel Music Act to Iweri, Agbara Reni, Agbara Olo, Angeli Mi. 2007 is still a hit. Now people are still singing Angeli Mi. She has years and Amen, Agbelebu in 2013, Alagbara in 2012. Alarm Befu Michelle Lua. She has nowadays she does a lot of live session, live worship worship sessions with T Y Below. They've done a Rureto Bar together, they've done Adonai, they've done Obamide, no one else, Angeli, Olowo Ino. And recently they have war that they've done together. I mean she and T Y Below. She's of course married and she has children. Although she has a child from a previous relationship stains that marriage actually that she had a grown-up daughter now who is also interested in music and sings along with a mom anyways that's it guys concerning the happenings to evangelist Tokme Alabi Oretio Komo and the robbery she actually came out of alive and on hot although she lost some amount of money but hopefully the money will be returned to her since they were able to arrest this suspects these thieves that tried to rob her in a store in Oakland state hi right, guys i'll see you in the next video take care of yourself and please be sensitive in your environment or to your environment bye